the global population has reached a significant milestone. The United Nations says more than 8 billion people now live on planet Earth. Now, that figure has risen from 6 billion in 1999, and by the end of this century, it is predicted to go past 11 billion. The international body further says that a surge in births in lower-income countries is likely to create risk. Bets have been steadily declining in the United States, Europe, and Japan. China, too, has struggled with the legacy of its one-child policy program and last year urged families to have a second and even third child. But some of the world's poorest countries, most of which are in sub-Saharan Africa, witnessed spikes in population as a result of higher fertility rates, putting their development goals at risk. For more on this, Executive Director, Youth Hub Africa, Rotimi Olawale, joins me live from Abuja. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to join the program today. We've seen one billion people um, added in just 12 years. How do you interpret this and, and what is the likely impact? Well, as we see the world population move from 7 to 8 billion over the last uh, 12 years, one of the impact that we see is on the pressure on the arts resources, as we have seen. Uh, interestingly, in uh, Sham El Sheikh in Egypt, countries are negotiating climate change agreements, and the impact of 8 billion people on the world is going to be felt more on the pressure that it brings in climate change across the globe. Specifically in Nigeria, we can see increasingly um, contestation around land resources, for instance, uh, leading to farmers' headers clashes. We've seen this year flooding across the nation in, in many more states than we've experienced. Uh, analysts have said this year's flooding is the worst flooding in, in many decades that we have seen in Nigeria. And it's not unusual that we will begin to see many of these. Uh, there's also the demographic dividend aspect of it in a, a country like Nigeria, where uh, a good proportion of the population are young. It's an opportunity if we are it that we can reap from this demographic dividend. Mm. And it's interesting you you mentioned the the um, climate change conference in a uh, climate change summit rather in um, Egypt. Now a, a huge part of this population there's also a projected population to grow by 2.4 billion um, will be 9 billion in 2037 and in 2080s will be about 10.4 billion and a huge projection of this will be in the sub-Saharan Africa. Um, how, how should Africa prepare, prepare for the resource pressure? Because there is going to be resource pressure. I, I think that we need to start to ask ourselves uncomfortable questions. I, I think that uh, Nigeria has one of the fastest growing um, population rates uh, on, the, on, the, on the continent and actually very globally. Uh, in these 8 billion that we've reported, Nigeria is the third fastest contributor aside, I think, India and China to, to these 8 billion. Uh, our population is growing rapidly, and we need to tell ourselves the truth. I think at some point, our population growth rate is going to be unsustainable. I feel that we're already feeling the pressure as the available resources is no longer enough in many states. Uh, you see a struggle for state government to pay salaries, commit to education, commit to financing infrastructure. And I feel that a country like Nigeria does not do enough data modeling. We need to ask ourselves, when Nigeria's population hit 400 million, how many new classrooms do we need to build? Do we have resources to build those classrooms? How many healthcare centers do we need to de deliver? Do we have enough resources to deliver? But most importantly, how do we ensure that people voluntarily do family planning in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in forcing people to do family planning, but I think that we need to have national conversation around ensuring that family planning commodities are readily available and that families plan better and space their children and have the number of children that they can comfortably take care of, send to school because mm. it's those educated young people that can contribute positively Absolutely. to Nigeria's workforce. Absolutely. Thank you so much for talking to us. Executive Director, Youth Hub Africa, Rotimi Olawali. Thank you.